packing what a palaver to go on holiday. So I'm going to show you how I pack. You have to, excuse me, I've just got a onesie on. So it's a real mess in Frankie Jack's room. I always um, pay for an extra suitcase because we actually go on this holiday for 18 days. And so it's really important that we can take everything with us. So then we're not having to buy anything whilst we're there. And I probably do pack more than I should do, but I do not want to be washing whilst I'm on holiday. And my other thing is, is that if you're going away... Um, I want to enjoy all the clothes that I've bought instead of having to scrimp and scrape and only pack this and only pack that. So I've got a rule that I will pay for that extra suitcase, obviously not realising I was in the situation that I'm in now. Uh, but this, as I say, I always book things well ahead and well in advance and always pay for them well in advance. So I'm going to show you. It's a bit of a mess in here because I've got all sorts going on. But I open all four cases. That's one each and one extra. But it's only a little tiny one extra. And then what I do is I split everything across every suitcase. So every suitcase will have a night item in it. Every suitcase will have... Um you know, one of my sun hats in it or something like that or a pair of flip-flops for somebody. So that's in case any of the suitcases go missing. Then when we land, we're not going, well, you've got your luggage, but you haven't. <laughs> uh, and you're not in that sort of situation. Now, if I'm packing to go on a... Um, this, this is like a pool holiday. So this is really quite easy to pack, although it takes me hours because I, I need to sort every single item out. So let me just... So you can see I've got pyjamas in there, I've got pyjamas in there, and I've got pyjamas in there. I've got two beach bags that I take Frankie Jack's pajamas in there I've got sun hat there sun hat there sun hat there nude bra there nude bra there sorry I'm flipping in between them so you can see one two three big suitcases and a little suitcase that actually looks bigger than what it actually is when you come this way it's a lot smaller so um and then also and also the toiletries, we do buy a lot when we're out there because we go to something called the Super Mercado. It's only because we know the area and it's really cheap. So it's a lot cheaper than what you get. So you'll get things for like one euro that will be like 80p over here. Well, you don't get anything for 80p now over here. So um, we go there to buy things like your bath and your shampoo and your conditioner, therefore not having to carry it in our luggage. So we find it a lot easier to do it like that. There's some stuff that I'll take. So I have got some suntan tan cream because I got a really good deal I'll show you that uh, my false tan you cannot get false tan for love no money in Spain because obviously everybody has a tan so I, and I'd like to fake it not bake it I'll get a little bit of a tan but I won't sit out in it religiously uh, books I always take my books with me I take fans so I sp split fans and then I'll also split um the um sunglasses as well Frankie Jack Jack swimming uh um cozies or, or trunks I'm going to sort those out in a moment See, a bit of a mess, but I'm starting to sort out my bikinis. Now, I'm a bit of a stickler for taking a bikini for every day. So if we're going for 18 days, it'll be 18 bikinis. I've not just bought all these in one year. I buy them over the year. However, I have had a big influx of bikinis this year. So I have actually bought new, seven new bikinis. If you haven't seen my vlog yet, then this one, this one, and this one is actually from Tesco's. I'm going to show you all of them whilst I'm away on holiday. So you will get to look at all of them. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram and... Um, um, so Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. It's Sally Jack's TV mom is my handle name. So now what I'm going to do is space out all the bikinis and I'm going to put an actual outfit together with all of them. So if you see what I've done now is I've put every um, bikini with a special cover so I've got this green bikini so I've gone with a green cover I've got this navy blue and I've gone with something with navy blue in I've got this pink and I've gone for a pink the cream has gone with a bit of the gold in it black I've gone with black that's Gary's um I've got a, a pink and orange so I've gone with a pink and orange from Zara and then what I've done is I've ma matched up flip-flops with all the outfits as well and then I'll go with the sunnies so we've arrived. I forgot to film the rest of my packing because I was so late uh, and we were flying very early the next day. But this is Frankie Jack quickly showing you around the room, uh, the wardrobe space that we've got, although it's not as big as what these rooms normally are. I had an extra rail put up there a little bit later on in the day. This was the bathroom into the bedroom. This is how it arrived. So you've got your beach towels and your slippers and your um, dressing gown. And then the balcony is superb because the view is astronomical. We always want that view when we arrive. <laughs> 
around another nosy where we're staying in Spain. Um, so we stay in a hotel and it's 50 years old um, this year and it was built in, what's that, 1973. And actually Gary's dad, who we always come out with every year, Gary's my husband, um, you must know that from following me on YouTube, but just in case you don't, then hi, I'm Sally Jack's TV mom. My husband's called Gary, my son's called Frankie Jack, and my husband's um, dad has been coming out here since the day it opened. He might have missed about 10 years in between, but most of the time he stayed in this hotel. So this is why we always come back to this hotel. This is where everybody stayed when we got married, although we didn't marry in this hotel. Um, so I've been coming here now for 20 odd years and we come every summer. So I'm going to give you a flit around and I'm going to show you in the wardrobes. If there's anything else that you want to see um, whilst I'm doing this video, if you want to have a look at the toiletry bags, if you want to have a look at my jewellery bags of what I bring with me, then just let me know and I can do another vlog for you on um, Friday of this week. So as you come in, because I've just flitted right the way around, we do have a suite. They're very kind to us and they give us a suite every year. So you come in, this is your entrance hall and then you come a bit further in and this is the lounge. You're going to have to excuse me, there's bottles everywhere because obviously I bring too much stuff and there's never enough room in your um, in your room to put all your stuff, is there? So I'll turn the camera around in a moment, but I'll just give you a brief overview of everything that's in here. And then if we come out to the balcony, so there's two e exits for the balcony. There's an exit from the bedroom and there's an exit from the, the uh, lounge area. And it's a huge double one. And then we've got two sunbeds on here. Um, you're overlooking the pool, which is beautiful. It's a really big, large pool, as you can see. Um, and we've also got two chairs that we sit out. That's our washing that we've done. That's my um, light. I very rarely use the light, but I use the stand. It's one that we travel with um, on holiday or I travel with. And then this is the bedroom. So you've got a massive, this is a super king bed. We've also got a single, but Frankie Jack very rarely goes in there. That's my side of the bed. That's Gary's side of the bed. And then if you come through here, um, we've got like a hallway area. And then we also have um, our bathroom. So let me show you in a little more detail. Where shall we start? Should we start in the lounge first? And let me turn around and show you. As you come in, you can see it's a bit of a mess. Uh, Frankie Jack's suite. So this is Frankie Jack's table. He's after sun. We put our hats on here. He puts his glasses. We put all our electricals down here that we have in. Um, we can't find the other bat. That's my bag that I keep talking about. And then of course you've got the area. So I have been doing work this morning. I do work... Um, I know it sounds very sad, but I do work most days when I'm away for social and things like that. And I have a pad just in case I need to write anything down. That's my sun hat that you absolutely love. Um, if I've not shown you those yet. Um, oh, in fact, I'll, I'll probably do a vlog on that come Friday. Um, but I'll leave a link for it today just in case you want them. A couple of pairs of sunglasses that I'm looking to go with my outfit today. Talking about my outfit, here it is. Uh, I'm putting that on TikTok every single day, what I'm wearing and my beach wear. I'm not putting it on every single platform but TikTok I'm growing at the moment so if you want to have a look at everything that I'm wearing it will be on there. Campo Vieco that's one of our favourite wines so we had a glass of that last night in the room. Uh, this is some fruit because I tend to eat fruit at lunchtime. This is my makeup bag um, I've also got my Elnet. One of my favourite perfumes of the moment is this um, beautiful and I do spray it to go down by the pool but I only spray it in my hair. Um, and then I've got here, so these are my fans, so I have fans to match every outfit, I've got a pink one to go with today, they cost probably one euro from the markets when I'm there and I've had them for years. And then all my sunglasses and then now my glasses because I'm having to start wearing glasses now because I'm getting older. Um, so these are all my sunglasses. Um, if you want me to do a vlog on that, then let me know because I can do. Um, we've also got a fridge down here and in here is all my electrics. It's also all my handbags and anything that I want to put in my hair. So I will probably bring that one out today because it goes with my outfit that I've got on. And this is my underwear, a lot of nude underwear in there, but these are fantastic these are shorts by Bella Bodies, so we sell them on television and absolutely fantastic. You should put them under all your outfits. If you didn't get them, then you've missed out. So this is the bedroom. So this is my side. So a couple of books for me to read if I can get through to them. Those are my pajamas, so I can switch those every couple of nights. This is a selection of some of the heels that I wear whilst I'm away. Um, so I bring quite, I, I haven't brought as many shoes this holiday as what I normally do, but what I do do is normally 
they're all nude or all metallic so they go with anything i've stopped buying like collared shoes now so i've got my new balance trainers for when i go to the gym um i've got some sophia websters that i've had for years some aldos Jimmy Choo that I've had for years and then I've got some I think those are River Island and then those were off the market um, a couple of years ago in Porto Benus. those have had its day now because I've worn them so much this is Frankie Jack's um, shoes so he can have them to match all his outfits today he's got oh no those his navy blue ones his favourite ones are Boss I got these last year in the sale ridiculously cheap from Marbella last year I got two pairs of those from a place called El Corte Ingles um, I got the Boss in the sale, the DKNY in the sale, the Levi's were from Ideal World and Haviana's I think were from Amazon. These are our dressing gowns if we need to put them on. These are fantastic. These are throwovers, um, like a towel in for when you buy the pool for when you're walking back. That ironing board is absolutely dreadful. Factor 30 for uh, Gary, Frankie Jack and I are on factor 50. So let's have a look in the bathroom. So we've got a couple of bikinis in there that I've worn over the couple of days. Those are going to be washed and hung out. So I'll do that tonight when I take a shower. Got my simple wipes. This is what I'm washing my face with at the moment um, because this was the first one I grabbed at home, but I normally do love my Elizabeth Grant. Um, toothpaste, toothbrushes. Look at the state of Gary's. I'm going to show you how disgusting is he. Look at mine, pristine. Um, so Frankie Jack's got, uh, sorry, Gary's got Cristiano Ronaldo. I absolutely love that one. And then I also bought him this as well, the show part. I'm a big fan of show part. If anybody saw me doing fragrances on television you will know I love those um oh I've got a bit of a tale to tell you about that but I'm not going to do it on this vlog but I have got something coming up that might interest you with that that's my toiletry bag if you want me to go through it I can do let me know on another vlog so this is to put your suitcases and your golf bag in However, um, I've got them to put me another rail up because there wasn't a rail to hang long dresses. So these are some of my long dresses. This is what I bought in Marbella last year. This is in the style, which I love. I've also got Tesco's and that's new look. That's from my friend's shop, Yana. That's from Marbella. Um, that's from Sheen. Um, although I found out that Sheen aren't so great with their workers. So I'm not so keen on advertising that now. Uh, Zara, um, or buying from them to be quite honest with you in Tesco's these are most of my flip-flops those are so comfortable those are from Clark's those I bought in Marbella last year they were quite expensive but I absolutely love them I've got my Steve Madden's which I got in the sale and then of course my speakers which I've worn so much thrown a couple of dresses up here because when we've put them on here it fell down so um, and that's where all the suitcases go so we start putting the dirty wash in and then we've got a couple of um, uh, wardrobes here so let's open the first one so Gary's up the top Frankie Jack and Gary are here, Frankie Jack's here, I've got some bikinis there, and then the rest of Frankie Jack, oh he's just thrown his stuff in, the rest of Frankie Jack's on the floor here, normally I hang all Frankie Jack's stuff up, but this room that they've put us in has got less hanging space than it's ever had before, so, um, oh we've got a drawer there, and I haven't put anything in there, I didn't know about that, that's the first time I've seen it, and I've been here, what, five, six days already, and then of course the safe where you put all your passports and etc., um, oh, excuse the banging. Let's have a look at the next one. So this is where Gary's shirts are and also my dresses um, and also my bikinis. So what I do is I put the bikini with a cover-up. So every bikini will have a cover-up to go with it. And I do bring a bikini a day. But some bikinis are two ways so this one will be worn twice and this one will be worn twice and this may be worn twice as well but I'll still wash them and rinse them out from pool water and things like that so they don't get damaged while they're sat in the suitcase ready to go home and go in the washer Frankie Jack's stuff is all at the bottom those are his swim tops um for when he's in the pool and then of course he's got all his um bottoms and then his um underpants as well and I didn't iron anything before I came, so everything's just thrown in, but it is clumped in two, so I don't have to go, oh, which which outfit goes with that bikini but everything always matches every day I've always been like that and then these are all my dresses so a lot of them will be years old some of them maybe even like 10 years old some of them with River Island I love New Look I love Tesco's I love my friend's shop Precious at Worley because she's got quite an Ibiza vibe to it some of them I buy on the market when I'm over here one of my favourite dresses um, you will see this holiday is this this is brand spanking new and I think I paid 60 pounds 
for it, but it should have been over £200. I got it in the sale. Same with this one. In fact, I bet it's still got its tag on it. So this was... £335. It was now £234.50. I did not spend that. I think I paid £100 for that, something like that. So it should have been very, very expensive, but I pay. I did definitely, I would never have paid £230 for it, let's put it that way. I don't spend that on my clothes. So that is all my holiday clothes. But if you want to, if you want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I'm showing all my outfits every single day of what I'm wearing from day to night time. And that therefore you can see everything that I've got on so today obviously you can see so this will be going out on TikTok this is a river island and I'm teaming this oh and I'm teaming this with an outfit from my friends and then I've got my earrings on I've got my Havianas in gold and then I also um I think you might have seen these last year I've got a pair of sunglasses that are like a pinky purpley that go really well with this that have got the gold trim on the outside and then I've tied my hair back just for while I'm filming this but I'm going to put it up in a top knot and put my sun hat on to go out in the sun so I'm just about to go downstairs it is lunchtime because I've been working this morning and I've also been um, uploading and things like that and then this obviously is going to be out this evening but you're already going to be watching it but hope you've enjoyed I'll just quickly give you a glimpse of the um, pool while we're here so this is our pool it's absolutely ginormous i reckon it's the size of like an olympic swimming pool and then it's got the deep deep end down here and then you've got a baby part part here um and then you've got your restaurant underneath here this is where you go for breakfast and you've also got an indoor pool in there and then the kind of kids play area but you're also overlooking the sea and on some good days over there you can actually see Gibraltar but you can't see it today but that's the view from our balcony window every single morning fab absolutely fab love coming here we've come here for so many years so it means a lot to us as a family anyway hope you've enjoyed don't forget um, to give us a thumbs up that's giving you a nosy in our hotel room don't forget to give us a thumbs up um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for free please we would love you to follow us and also if there's anything that you would like me to cover whilst I'm here on holiday for my next vlog then do let me know we always come out for 18 days every year um, so I'm here for I think when this goes out tonight I've still got about another 11 days left so do let me know but don't forget also on Instagram I'm on Twitter I'm on Facebook and I'm also on TikTok love you lots as always thank you so much for your support and your kindness and I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye.